Okay, good afternoon and a very warm welcome to this uh, celebration of the award of your engineering degree. Um, this event is a, a very, very different event from a normal graduation ceremony. Um, it's certainly a lot shorter, it's certainly a lot less formal, but uh, it serves the same really important job, which is to celebrate a huge achievement and a milestone in your lives. Um, very quick housekeeping item before we uh, go into the main body of today. We're going to keep your microphones muted for the majority of the, the session, but uh, we'll unmute you at various points um, so that you can get involved. Um, what would be great is please if you could turn on your cameras so that firstly we can see uh, your happy excited faces that you're getting your degrees um, but also um, it's because uh, we're making a, a recording of this event and it will be it will be great to see you all uh, to see you all on that um, some of you we know will be watching this with with friends and uh, family so to those of you who are uh, sort of you know friends or family of our of our graduates today a very warm virtual welcome to the School of Engineering. Um, I'm Hugo Williams, I'm the, uh, the school's Director of Learning and Teaching and I'm going to be hosting today's event. We're going to hear from lots of people who want to congratulate you for your achievements. We've also got some uh, awards and prizes to uh, announce as we would do uh, at graduation time normally. Um, it's a mark of how many people are very proud of your achievements that we've had to turn people away who, who wanted to uh, uh, record things because we just haven't had time to, to, to squeeze all of them in. Um, so again, another reason for you to be really proud. Lots of people wanted to celebrate this day with you. After the kind of the formal event here on Zoom, um, we're also going to have kind of breakout sessions via, um, via Teams. Um, so feel free to uh, make contact with any of the academics uh, via Teams if you want to have a, a chat in smaller groups. Personally, I'm very proud to be hosting today's, uh, today's event. Um, Stephen Garrett, the head of school, uh, can't be with us today, but has recorded a, a message for you. Uh, as has Paul Monks, the head of college, and Nishan Kanagaraja, uh, the vice chancellor, the head of the university. Um, they've recorded those messages for you uh, to congratulate you, and we're going to play those messages now to kick us off. So hi, uh, congratulations on, on reaching graduation. I am really sorry I'm not uh, convening this virtual event, but I hope Hugo is, is doing and will do a good job. Now, despite not, not being there uh, virtually, I really wanted to record this video just to wish you uh, the very best as you emerge from university into the, into the wider world. Now, you've seen a lot of change um, during your time here in university. Who'd have thought when you started you'd be graduating from your kitchen or bedroom or wherever you are now? Um, who'd have thought after all the hilarity we had in level one and level two engineering mathematics that I'd be your head of school? I never thought when I, I took on head of school I'd be given a graduation speech with a suit on the top and some cargo shorts on the bottom. I'm not going to prove that to you though. So a lot has changed and I just want to say that you are well placed though to enter this, this ever changing world and I urge you to go forwards with confidence. You have had an excellent uh, education, I'm entirely sure of that. Not only the technical stuff that we force you to sit exams on, much of that you may never need again, but what matters really is the skills you developed during your time at university, your character, your resilience, and your confidence. And it is those things that will take you forwards to be successful in life. So don't forget the brilliant time you had here. Now, what do I wanna say? What I want to say, the world is tough and life is short. And I don't mean that to bring you down on your special day. Rather, I find that quite inspiring actually. The world's tough and life is short. Go out there and make a difference. Go out and change the world around you. I am perfectly confident that you have the necessary skills to do that. So congratulations, well done, and I hope our paths will cross again. Have a great day, bye-bye. Congratulations. I'm Professor Paul Monks. I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor and Head of the College of Science and Engineering here at the University of Leicester. And on this happy virtual occasion, I want to add my voice to many others saying, well done and congratulations for all your hard work over the years. Under normal circumstances, I will be reading your names as you cross the stage at the Montfort Hall. And it can be sometimes a little bit hit and miss. But I do hope that you will join us again next summer for a graduation in person. Until that time, enjoy your virtual graduation, 
Enjoy the success that you really deserve after your hard work over the years. And please go on and be successful in whatever career you choose. But do remember, we will support you here at the University of Leicester in your future, and we won't forget you and do stay in contact with us. But again, congratulations on this happy occasion. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice Chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you. But we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are our citizens of change. All the best. So an advantage of this uh, virtual award ceremony over the more traditional ones is that uh, you can take selfies and you can interact via social media as we go through. And we really encourage you to, to do that um, using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. Uh, and please do tag the university and the school when you do that. So uh, some schools in, in, in these events are giving uh, their students advice for the future. Um, but really what we wanted to do was something a little bit different and give you three concrete examples of things you've already demonstrated you can do, which we think are going to set you up for a successful future in whatever area you want to get into. Back on the very first day of induction, I told you that it was your first day as a member of a, an expert profession of uh, problem solvers and world changers. Um, and uh, the, the things I'm going to run through now are, are, are the kind of skills that you'll need to deliver just, just that and that you've demonstrated you can do. The first of those is that you've, sh you've shown that you can solve problems with an engineering mindset. Um, the maths and the scientific knowledge to be an engineer are essential, but they're not, uh, they're not enough on their own. Engineers apply those skills and that knowledge to real world problems that make a difference to people and in different contexts. Um, you've shown you can do that through things like design projects and uh, research projects that you've done. Engineering is a massive and diverse field and you're likely to be working in very different areas. Um, it's almost certain that you'll change the specialist area you work in at least once during your career. Um, and many of you here today um, will be going, going into a non-engineering career, but we're confident that you'll take that kind of engineering mindset with you. Um, and we're confident that that's an, an, a success, uh, an ingredient for success in, in any field. The second thing you proved is that you can adapt to change. And we can't let a virtual event like this pass without kind of commenting on the reason why it's a, a virtual event. Um, you should all be enormously proud of the way you've adapted to the challenges that COVID-19 has presented to you. For all of you, it's meant finishing your degree in circumstances that none of us could ever have predicted just a few months ago. Many people have faced huge personal challenges as a result of, uh, of the last few months as well, some directly related to, to COVID if you've been directly affected, um, but also some of the other difficult life challenges that we all face from time to time have become much more difficult uh, because of the circumstances around COVID and we, you know, we, all, we all appreciate that. Today's a day for celebration and so we don't want to dwell on that, but if you have been affected uh, by these things, you should be doubly proud, doubly proud of your, your achievement today. Um, in any case, let that give you confidence that in the future you'll be able to adapt to change and to seize the opportunities that sometimes change can bring. The final thing you've shown is that you can work with people. Um, engineers have a bit of a reputation sometimes, I think, for being interested in machines or computers rather than working with people. And my experience of the profession is that uh, that's uh, not, not the case for a successful engineer. Um, I've been fortunate to work with lots of fantastic colleagues uh, around the world in engineering. And having worked closely with uh, many, if not all of you, um, I know you have the personal skills and the, the people skills to become really successful colleagues and engineering leaders in the future. I'm really proud of the team working opportunities that we've given you as part of the course. Um, we know that that's often challenging and sometimes has caused some tensions along the way, but we're also confident that you've learned a lot from it and you'll be able to again take that forward. So you've proved that you can solve problems, 
Uh, you can adapt positively to change and make the best of those situations confidently. And you've, chose, and you've shown that you can work well in teams. And those are arguably three of the most important skills of any engineer, as well as the, the technical knowledge. I'm going to hand over to uh, uh, Simon Gill in a moment, the deputy head of school, um, who's going to announce the prizes and the awards uh, that we give at the end of uh, every year. Um, but uh, before we do that, we've got a video that Jimmy Austin has kindly recorded for us, um, giving the student perspective on, uh, I guess, the last year and also uh, graduation. Um, so we'll hand over to Jimmy and then, uh, then it'll be Simon after that for the, for the awards. Congratulations on finishing your engineering degree at Leicester. It's been great being at Leicester the last five years and I've made so many new friends, some of which I've only known for the last year whilst doing my masters and some I've lived with and been friends with for the entire five years at university. I think one of the best memories I have of being at the university is having run the engineering society this year. We've done so many great things that I'm really proud of. We've increased the number of academic activities and also run more social activities including our really successful summer ball or spring ball where we had over 80 people attend. I'm really happy at how this has been able to help foster a better sense of community between the students and the staff within the engineering department. We've graduated into the world at a difficult time, but as engineers we are uniquely placed to make the world a better place and help it adapt in these uncertain waters. All I can say is I hope we're able to meet together in person at some point in the not too distant future. Good luck and stay safe. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's very nice to see some familiar faces on the screen today. Um, so thank you to Jimmy for recording that. Um, I can say that uh, uh, a lot of our third and fourth years have really engaged with the Engineering Society this year, and I think it's been the best, best year ever. So um, it's my honour to introduce um, the prizes today. Uh, usually people would come up and collect their certificates. Um, unfortunately, we can't do that today, but uh, we will uh, be putting them in the post here. So, Okay, so first of all, we have the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Project Certificates. Uh, all the prizes are given for a specific reason, and these are for final year students on an IMEC E accredited degree course who complete an outstanding project. We have a number of these. So the winners are Kaval Morji, Christopher Smith, Stephen Baird, Mohammed Ahmed, Alice Leach, and the Yu Peng. So well done to all of you. Uh, so now we have the School of Engineering Project Prizes. Our best third year project went to Li Yu Peng. The second place third year project was Aidan Ward. Next, we have the David Holm Memorial Prize. This is awarded on the nomination of the School of Engineering to the student whose third year project involves the most original or novel application of engineering. And this project went to Aidan Ward. Next, the Goldsmith Prize. This is for exceptional achievement on an in engineering industrial placement. And this is awarded to Christopher Wellinson. Well done, Christopher. The next prize is um, from the Institution of Mechanical Engineers for the best student certificate. This is for the best student on any year of an accredited IMEC -E degree course. I'm very pleased to say this goes to Valentine Salomon, who uh, was one of my um, project students this year. So well done, well done Val. Very pleased to see that. Next one, the TWI, that's the Welding Institute. Um, the TWI Best Student Prize is awarded to the undergraduate student achieving the highest mark in a materials-based project. And this is awarded to the Yu Peng. Well done. The next one is the RA Grierson Prize. This is awarded to the engineering graduating student on a with industry degree achieving the highest overall average. And this is awarded to Timothy Atkinson. So I saw you, I saw you on the screen earlier, Tim. So hopefully uh, 
that's so right. The British Computer Society Prize is for the best graduating electronic and software engineering student. And this goes to Hamal Rajput. Well done, Hamal. Next one. The Institution of Measurement Control Prize is for the most distinguished finalist in the field of measurement and control. And this is awarded to William Morton. Well done, Will. I saw you again on the screen earlier. The Institution of Engineering and Technology Prize is for the best graduating student with an IET accredited degree. And that goes to Imal Rajput. The Institution of Mechanical Engineers Project Award for the final year student on any IMEC -E course completing an outstanding research development or design project goes to Alice Leach. Well done, Alice. Yeah. Congrats. So I think I'm now handing on. We have another uh, video produced um, by some people you may or may not know, um, giving you some uh, celebratory messages for this happy day. Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association, and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done, and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Shooter. I'm an actor. I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just want to say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly turbulent, uh, uncertain time. You've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, my name is Johnson Long, leader of Hong Kong alumni community. It's been a very tough year in 2020, but you guys made it. Congratulations to all the graduates. For those who want to come to Hong Kong, I'm here and welcome you. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006 and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience, I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and the horizons that have been opened for you, and for some moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation and we really can't wait to welcome you to the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, this is Eswantswa Goldsmith here. Wow, congratulations, you made it. And one good thing about graduating in lockdown is you don't have to wear a mortarboard. Trust me, those hats are a nightmare, especially if you've got an afro. Plus, you are the very first students in history with 2020 vision. At last, we can go out there and make this crazy old world a much better place. I'm going to be beside you all the way. Aluta continua. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so. And, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day and obviously uh, safely have a great celebration this evening and uh, I'm well done.
So uh, one of the nice traditions uh, that we have in the De Montfort Hall when we do traditional graduations is that we ask graduates to uh, applaud their friends and family who've come to support them. Um, many of you may have friends and family with you at the moment, but uh, the current circumstances mean that we can't meet many of our nearest and dearest face to face at the moment. So this afternoon, what I'd like to suggest you do is uh, drop your loved ones, your friends, your family a message to thank them for all the support they've given you. Perhaps send them a, a selfie of you celebrating this afternoon. Uh, again, just to thank them for the support they've given you through the, through, through the time you've been doing your degree. What we'd now like to do is to uh, unmute you all and uh, to ask you all to congratulate yourselves uh, and each other um, with, uh, with a big clap. So we're going to finish today's event with a, a montage of comments we've collected specifically from staff and from um, our uh, some of our alumni from the school uh, itself. Before we say that, I'd just like to say a final congratulations from me. Um, all very best wishes for, for your future career and your life. It's been an enormous privilege to work with you over the last few years, and we really look forward to hearing um, all about how you've made the world a better place in whatever you end up doing in the future. So congratulations again and really um, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your, your day.